National Assembly on Wednesday elected President of the Constitutional Court of Armenia. The sole candidate was Constitutional Court member, ex-Minister of Justice, Herarto Masyan. The position of Constitutional Court President was vacant ever since Gagi Kartunyan was elected member and subsequently Chairman of the Supreme Judicial Council. U.S. President Donald Trump has congratulated Vladimir Putin on his election victory. Trump told reporters he believed he and Putin would meet in the not-too-distant future to discuss the arms race between the two countries as well as the situation in Ukraine, Syria and North Korea. Istanbul authorities have banned the screening of Armenian-Iranian film Yeva at the International Filmmore Women's Film Festival on the grounds of the state of emergency and security issues in Turkey. Festival representative Melek Özman told Bionet website of Turkey that the Azerbaijani consulate in Istanbul first wrote an official letter to the French Institute where the festival is taking place and asked to cancel the screening of this film. A delegation from the Republic of Artsakh, led by President Pako Sahakyan, on Tuesday arrived in Lebanon on a working visit. Sahakyan on Wednesday met with Catholicos Aram I of the Armenian Church Catholicos of the Great House of Cilicia of the Armenian Apostolic Church and the group of the Catholicos Supreme Clergyman in Antilias. Motherland Diaspora, Church Society Interrelations, Artsakh's domestic and foreign policy as well as regional processes were on the discussion agenda. A three-way summit with North Korea and the United States is possible, said South Korean President Moon Jae-in on Wednesday. A North Korea-U.S. summit would be a historic event in itself following an inner Korean summit. Depending on the location, it could be even more dramatic. And depending on progress, it may lead to a three-way summit between the South, North and the United States, said the President, adding that summits aim to complete the nuclear and peace issues on the Korean Peninsula. A burning car was reported inside the tunnel Wednesday on Sevan Dilijan Highway in Armenia, the press service of the Ministry of Emergency Situations said. According to the source, the fire was extinguished, but the vehicle was burned completely. No one was injured. U.S. President Donald Trump commented on U.S. withdrawal from Iran's nuclear deal during the meeting with Saudi Arabian Crown Prince on Tuesday. Well, we're going to see what happens. The Iran deal is coming up. It's probably another month or so, and you're going to see what I do. A lot of bad things are happening in Iran, said Trump. Top Armenian chess player Levon Aronian once again drew with Shakriyar Mamedyarov of Azerbaijan at the ninth round of the Candidates Tournament 2018, which is held in Berlin. Aronian has three and a half points so far and rounds up the bottom of the current standings together with Wesley So of the United States. Arsenal midfielder Henrik Mkhitaryan on Thursday will receive the award for Armenia's 2017 Footballer of the Year, informed the Football Federation of Armenia website. The respective ceremony in capital city Yerevan is scheduled to start at 11 a.m.